asking yourself, how much money does it take to even start prepping for an emergency situation? How much money does it take to do this? Well, believe it or not, folks, if you'd actually sit back and just take a minimum of at least $10 a week and start putting away a little bit of canned goods and dry goods that will last for a while, even if you don't have the money to do Mylar bags and that type of stuff, but at least if you can do some canned goods and dry goods like some rice, rice in a plastic container will store for a very long time. Hey, real quick folks, before we get going with any further on this video, I wanted to break in and tell you this is how you can win the Gear Light S1000 2-pack flashlight. Okay, if you like, comment, and watch this video, make sure you put a comment in, all right? You will be entered into a chance of winning the Gear Light S1000 right there. If you win, email address is survivalpreparedness69 at gmail.com. I will be putting that in the description below. So if you do win, I'll be contacting you. You email me your address and I will mail this bad boy right out to you so that you have it and you can put it to good use for any type of emergency situation, a fun trip that you're going to go on with the family, whatever it may be. My way of saying thank you to the community, I want to start doing giveaways in the community to acknowledge my appreciation for everything that you've done for my channel. So, with that being said, it's time to get back to the video, right? Come on! And like I was saying with rice, you know, if you have in your pantry or your cupboards, I bet, you have plastic containers. Now. You can store rice in those for a very long time. You're probably not going to get the full amount like you would if you put it in a Marlar bag or vacuum sealed it or put it in a jar and vacuum sealed it, but it will last you for six months to a year with no problem. Okay? As long as you store it in a cool, dry place, which most people do store all your rice and your flour, sugar, and all that stuff. It's either, it's mostly time it's stored in a cupboard or in a pantry. So, you know, it's cool, dry, and the whole story here. But to do something like this on things that you would eat in an emergency situation, this is emergency food, okay? But to do this and be able to go out and take $10 a week and do your homework and catch the sales, you can really stock up in a month. That's $40. In two months, that's $80. You're going to really start to see everything start to build because you're putting up a little bit at a time. Now, a lot of people out there right now, we just, they can't afford to do this, to go out and drop, you know, two, three hundred bucks. But if you start a little bit at a time, especially right now, you know, and catch some sales and stuff, buy ones and buy one, get one or the best, the BOGOs. I mean, that's just a no-brainer. But, you know, you can run across some good canned good sales, 10 for $10. That's 10 cans for 10 bucks. You just put 10 cans. You know, and sometimes it's mix and match. You know, they, they throw these little curveballs in there to get you to come in the store and buy their products. But it works. It's great for the beginners. It's great for the 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 senior people that have been doing it, and everything else. Everybody can benefit from it. You just have to do your homework and try to figure out exactly how you can achieve your goals that you are trying to set for yourself and your family, being that maybe you are a new prepper. Maybe that was one of your resolutions. Maybe you don't even make resolutions. Maybe you just said, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to get caught with my pants down again. You know, I've been out of work. Maybe you finally got a job, you know, when the whole Charlie Victor 19 hit just took everybody by surprise. Grocery stores were completely empty. You know, the stock market goes up and down and up and down and nobody knows what's going to go on. You have everybody out there that's hacking the United States right now. We've got an election that still hasn't been called yet. And, you know, it's just nobody knows. There's too many uncertainties 
that are out there right now. So to take $10 a week, and if you could do more, great. If you can't, start with $10. And you will be able to achieve something like this in no time. And then you have a backup plan to fall back on if something happens, you lose your job, you get sick. One of you, you're, you know, I mean, if you're married, okay, you have a couple, you're more likely you both work. You know, in today's society, you both have to work. So if one gets sick, that puts a huge strain, if you're not getting paid, on the family income. Think about this, folks. So if you have a backup plan to fall back on, so that you know you at least have something for your family to eat while you mend or get back on your feet or find another job and everything else. Because you, you, if you start a new job, well, guess what? It takes a while, but usually before you get your first check, it's usually a couple of weeks. What are you going to do in the meantime if you don't have anything in the house? And if you're the only person in the house and you're not married, you're a single parent, which there's a lot of you out there. Then what do you do? You make phone calls and you try to, you know, borrow money from family members or see if family members can help you out or, you know, but not everybody has that luxury. And not everybody has those types of families. You know, I mean, there are people out there where well, they just don't get along. So you're pretty much on your own. So on that point, you want to make sure that you're doing something about that. Don't put yourself in that situation. Don't bring yourself down any more than you have to under the circumstances that you just went through. 10 bucks a week. Start putting together your own little emergency supplies. And then if you outgrow room, you do what I did. I took a spare bedroom, put a shelf in it, and put most of all the canned goods and stuff in here to make room in the pantry for everything else that's supposed to be in there so it's not so cluttered. You know, having everything organized is a big part of prepping because you want to make sure that you're always organizing your products, especially if it's a working pantry. You eat some of this. Now, we don't eat all this stuff on a daily basis, you know? I mean, can't you just see my wife eating Spam every single day? <laughs> Anybody that knows her, <laughs> no. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes we'll have like the canned vegetables and stuff like that, you know. If you're in a crunch for dinner and everything else, I mean, yeah, we like to eat fresh vegetables and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes you just don't have time. It's easy enough just to open up a couple cans of green beans and boom, dinner's done. There you go. Point being here is 10 bucks a week will get you started on a path of success for you and your family. So this way here, you have something to fall back on and you'll feel really good about yourself when you wake up in the morning knowing that if something did happen today, I'd have something for my family to eat tomorrow. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners and until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Oh, 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 oh,